Hello, everybody. So, I have the wine in a plastic cup because it's that time when I would like to post one singular poem semi-annually and then disappear <laughs> for another month. I'm so sorry about not posting. You guys, I am just, I feel like I've been all over the place for the past month, but I really just, I don't know, I felt that this poem was just encapsulating everything that I wanted to say that's kind of just on my heart for the past month or so. Um, and I wrote it on Valentine's Day. Surprise, surprise. I mean, due to the title, whatever. I just wanted to read this poem that I wrote. Like this, the chaos. What the hell? What the fuck? Do you ever do stuff that you're not, you don't train yourself to do, like drawing? And then I look back on it and what was going on through my head. Also, mind the, if you hear any sound, like, um, bass or something, there is some function going on in the this, the park next to where I'm dog sitting. So if you hear Imagine Dragons subtly in the background, that's that. I'm not actually listening to Imagine Dragons. <laughs> this poem is called God Gave Me Flowers for Valentine's Day, which is actually a true story. God gave me flowers for Valentine's Day. I stopped praying for it, so I drank about it, until I started drinking for it. Troubled, only on the days I received clear reminders, no one is waiting for my heart to grow, for my eyes to glow for another, while others have been shown too brightly. I never think of it until that second before sleep. I think of glimpses of an ounce of a taste I could only have because I was too young and high to care what was real and could feel it there, nearly touched under numb fingers. Dizzy dreams deceive once I wake. Coming to, it wasn't real. I did no wrong, so why did it feel so? Why did it have to be? A friend once told me there is one way that God can handcraft a love so special it will all be worth the wait, and all I have to do is pray. <laughs> well, maybe I've lost faith. Maybe I'm so swelled up in the dark of the search, I've sadly let it go. Like all the other good things I never kept. Maybe love to one another just wasn't in the plan for me. Because I believe in beautiful things, despite it all, I believe with every song I hear on endless lonely walks, Admiring those who found it sooner than I, who say the time will come, then go home where they can forget what it means to come back to only yourself, year after year. What is left to do but hope? The only true love I've known are these flowers on my driveway on Valentine's Day, like a note from God to say, I'm sorry you're lonely, and I'm sorry anyone you've wanted did not want you, that all the timing was horribly wrong. I'm sorry, no matter how many love songs you hear, will only leave you aching. Take these plastic yellow flowers, drenched in rain, sogging, declaring, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I accept, not feeling quite fucked over anymore, but seen. I suppose this is just the next best thing. Maybe we should just uh, <laughs> Bukowski this and um, just drink wine and I'll read my whole legal pad for an hour and my only three people on my YouTube will even care, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'm, you guys, <laughs> I am really hoping to post a lot more in the future because I got some stuff planned, so got some stuff cooking, chefed up in the kitchen, but it's in the kitchen right now, so y you know, you don't want a raw steak, all right? It's cooking, it's cooking. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and listening, and I hope that 
go out and write something, do something creative, do something for yourself today. I have a bath scheduled, so I gotta go get to that. Bye guys.